We're dining at Sicky's Garage, right outside Walt Disney World. Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. You're watching the Deep Park Foodies and we're back at 192, right outside Walt Disney World. The last place we ate uh, on 192 really impressed us. It was Portillo's, usually a Chicago restaurant for hot dogs, but this, this I believe is a chain as well, but only two or three locations? No, in? there's a couple. Oh, okay. They're actually, I think they started in North Dakota. Um, they have Vegas location. Oh, wow. They're opening one in Texas. Yes. So it's called Sicky's Garage. It's a garage theme. A lot of garage themes down here. 192 Alligator Garage is the theme of Portillo's. You have Ford's Garage, which is right, which is right outside the Margaritaville restaurant. And now you have, I mean, this has been here for a while, but you have Sicky's Garage, uh, which again, garage theme. You can see like they have like gas things to fill up your car. Gas, thing, gas pumps. <laughs> yes, there's tires right as you walk in as well. There's a lot of tires. Um, yeah, they have fake palm trees right at the top. It's an aesthetically uh, good-looking restaurant. Definitely hits the theme. And what type of food do they have, Sam? Uh, so they have burgers, beer, wings, nachos. And they actually have like 50 different types of burgers and 50 different types of beers on tap. Yeah, it is a big menu. It, it, yeah. Very and it, expensive. It, and you can get your burgers like on donuts, grilled cheeses, what? Texas toast. Oh, man. Like That's it's just kind of like over the top novelty yeah. type of thing. Seems like fun. It's right next to that big wizard shop. Have you guys ever seen that before? Um, literally right next to it on 192, right outside Walt Disney World, right near I-4. So very convenient location. Any reason they're called Sicky Sam? Yeah, so apparently I think it came from a motorcycle shop in oh, okay. North Dakota. Also, I think the Sicky sick, is... Sick Boys yeah. something. And then Sicky is a term for somebody who calls out of work to go hang out in a bar. Interesting. Which couldn't be me because I have <laughs> way too much anxiety to yeah. ever call out from work. I get nervous to call from work too. I actually don't even feel cool enough to dine at a place. <laughs> like no, I think you're cool enough, and I'm very hungry. So, are you ready to go you're in? I, I, I need a burger. So, um, <laughs> if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner here at Sicky's Garage, right on 192 outside Walt Disney World. See those tires that we we're talking about, and then they actually have a car right at the top. All right, let's see if we can get a seat, Sam. All right, let's head inside. Cool merch. Right as you walk in, and look, Sam at the top. He's wearing Mickey ears. <laughs> Yeah, they have like a whole merch store in section. Nice. Magnets, shirts. All right, so it is like a sports bar. You'll see sports playing in the background. And then uh, this gas canister is brought to you by Twisted Tea. They have their menus right here on the table and uh, signs everywhere. This menu is like a book, Sam. It's, it's it reminds huge. me of um, T-Rex Cafe. Remember how they had all those... Many yeah, things. there's a lot going on in here. Um, just to break down what we got real quick, um, we tried to get some of their more adventurous or different options. I got the tater pegs, and those things are stuffed, but this appetizer menu is stacked. So if you want to take a look, we definitely recommend looking on the website. We also have a lot of different burgers. Uh, the burger that I got, I believe, is called uh, Twin Cam. So that comes on two grilled cheeses. Same with one of the chicken sandwiches. Um, they recommended the hot honey chicken sandwich, but Sam, you got the ranch one, right? Yeah. I can't do it's really too spicy. Chicken Anything ranch. with like ranch in the title, I um, yes. usually go for it. And there's so much more like besides that. Uh, well, they also have adult shakes that look really good. I don't think I'm drinking tonight, just so you guys <laughs> can see. There's a lot of good stuff on here. We definitely will be getting dessert. Um, going over what we thought. Oh, and another thing, Sam, they have these crazy seasonings for the fries oh, yeah right so you, you get to pick your side you can like upgrade your sides yeah and then they have here like all these different like seasonings you can put on it they say the rusty keg is kind of like a five guys seasoning but sam um i got that with the waffle fries but so sam, i got some cinnamon sugar because i got the sweet potato fries yeah so. and you can like mix and match them yeah they have mashed potatoes and gravy There's it is a little, so much going on it's a little overwhelming though yeah um <laughs> But it, it's a positive because there's going to be something that everyone's going to enjoy. There was a burger with peanut butter and jalapenos. Yeah. Which were not that adventurous. And of course, we're in a 50s garage. We had to get the root beers. So, um, I feel like we've been product. drinking root beer a lot lately. <laughs> we're root beer people. They do have a pretty extensive beer and cider menu. 
probably one of the things they're known for. We have an extensive cocktail menu too. Red Bull Tropical Tequila. I think that's that's a real upper right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're going up and down on that. Corolla, ooh. They do have a pretty impressive lunch special, $9.99. You get no substitutions though, but all these different things you can get. All right, tater kegs. Damn. Look at they're, the size. They're big boys. They're really big. Look at the size of these things. Tater tot on steroids. And what is the dip that comes with? It's a seasoned sour cream. A seasoned what? Sour cream. Okay, and then uh, what's inside of it? Smoky bacon, oozing cheddar, and chives. Look at that cheese. I feel like it's the size of the dip cup. <laughs> the dip is it's thick. Than yeah, well, it's sour cream, so it's thick. That is very good. <laughs> Imagine a loaded tater tot, but it just everything is in case. It's, yeah, it's not focusing. Yeah. It's not focusing sometimes, guys. You, know? you can't focus on all that. <laughs> a lot to focus on. Everything encased inside. Very convenient. I prefer it this way. Less messy. You know me, I can make a mess here. Well, I make a lot of mess. <laughs> it's good, and it's good tater. Look at the, the brown. The good brown, like, coat. Crispy it's on the outside. Golden. The soft interior with that texture of the potato. The cheese, the bacon. It's the total package. It's an eight for me. It's original, but it is very, oh, uh, rich is not the right word. Filling, I guess, would be the right word. Savory, salty, all in one thing. And a little bit of a little spice in there. A little, it's like almost like a different type of salt in there. I can't put my finger on it. Um, but very good, an eight for me. All right, so big, they had to stick a knife in it to keep it together. This is the twin cam, it comes on top of two Grilled cheeses. Look at the, the bacon seasoning too on that stem. There I feel like it's more grilled cheese than it is burger though. There are zero vegetables on this. That is gonna clog your arteries. I need to look at a life insurance policy on you. I don't even know how you eat that. I would definitely be fork and knifing it. It's, oh, the bacon is peppered, and there's also, it's nacho cheese. The grilled cheeses are good. It is a lot. I mean, you had to know that going into it, Jason. This thing's a novelty. It's, it's good. I like the burgers with, like, the, the work, lettuce, tomato stuff, but it's good. I think that could feed like a family. The grilled cheeses, I'm gonna take the knife out just so I can show the grilled cheese. If the grilled cheeses are good grilled cheeses. Well cooked. They look good. Good buttery <laughs> center. The burger isn't like a very thick burger, uh, but the bacon is very crispy. And it has good seasoning right on yeah, top of the bacon. Yeah, peppered bacon. Yeah. It's got a lot of good stuff going on. I feel like it, it needs really more meat. You're looking at what? I feel like it needs more meat. I feel like yeah. it's more bread heavy than meat. Yeah, it depends on what you're looking for. For me, it's, it's good though, it's original. I'm gonna give it like a set. I think it's like a solid set. I actually probably would like this with like some lettuce, tomato, pickle. Maybe that would be too big though. Like imagine this with more on it, you know? But um, I like the concept and I like the execution. So I'm gonna give it a set. All right, Sam is gonna be trying out the barrels. I told you, they fall apart in there. These are the can, what are they, Tweeter cans? Oh wow, so much flavor. It's like bursting with flavor. I actually really like the sour cream. Yeah, sour cream is different. It's got, it's got a little kick to the sour cream. Those are really good. Did you say eight for those? Yeah, you agree? All right, ranch burger. <laughs> it is a crispy chicken ranch. I also think I got some of that peppered bacon that you had on yours. There's some Asiago cheese. Chicken, ranch, obviously. Ranch? Who knew? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? All right, let's see how it is. <laughs> yeah, now these are big, they gave you a big burgers. Buy this. 
the bacon is so good. That's what I said on mine. The bacon is so good. That's like some of the best bacon I've ever had. Yeah, it's crispy. It's well seasoned. You have to try this. I think it's really good. Yeah. Creamy ranch. I heard the they're known for their chicken sandwiches too. Crispy chicken, very crispy peppered bacon. Just a good mix. Asiago cheese. It's just all these things work together well. It sounds like a, a good piece of chicken. It's a, eight? Wow, that's good. It's messy though. Yeah. It sounds like a chicken sandwich I you see it from Wendy's. Yeah. Like really but elevated and look at that size of that chicken. Alright, so Sam, you got the sweet potato fries with the cinnamon sugar, right? I did, I did. Cinnamon sugar and sweet potato fries go well together. Really big portion. They're okay. I, I mean, I just think they're like average. I don't think they're yeah. bad or like excellent. They're just kind of like... The, the seasoning, I think, is what makes them. I got the waffle fries with the um, Rusty Bucket, which is like a Five Guys seasoning. And the waffle fry itself was good, but I think the seasoning elevated it, so I'd give it a solid six. They're good. They're good. But they're just, you know, kind of, they're average. Yeah. What would you give yours? Five. Five? Okay. So outside of milkshakes, they do have some interesting desserts here. That caramel butter cake sounds real good. We also heard the funnel cake fries are good, and they have a creme brulee cheesecake. But I got... Can't move. Sam just said she's so full. I have the microphone off you. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm very full too. I cannot. I got a milkshake. I'm a milkshake man, as you all know, if you've watched this before. I got You can mix your milkshakes too, so they have different flavors. This is a non-alcoholic one I got. They have Oreo, they have chocolate, so I got an Oreo chocolate. I put two together. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Sam, milkshake time. So this is the Oreo milkshake, but I got chocolate mixed with it. Looks thick, right? Definitely a thick boy. Oreo crunchies in there. Oh, that's a good thick cake. You taste the malt. But look, it's more like ice creamy. It's a really good Oreo shake. I'm gonna give it a seven. I like the crunch. I like that it's, I like that it's thick. And it's almost, you need to wait for it to melt a little bit for the straw. Because it's, it's not too much like ice cream. It's well mixed. And the crunchiness with like a little bitterness to the chocolate. The, the two chocolate flavors just go real well together. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give myself a The one thing I do want to say is that this isn't a milkshake you let sip. Because it does have the crunchies in it. So these will get soggy eventually. But it's good. Workstation's literally a toolbox. All right, I'll see you later, sickies. All right, so that does it for our time dining at Sickies Garage for the very first time right down 192, right outside Walt Disney World. Sam, what did you think? The food, the decor, the atmosphere? Okay, one, I am so, so full, but that is my own fault. <laughs> That's a hefty, they're hefty dishes. Yes, definitely it's filling. It feels very gluttonous. Carb and meat heavy. That was my fault. <laughs> Two, I think the theming is awesome, and it's even yeah. like outside too, like even yeah. where we're standing. It's, and we kind of see the one next. Yeah, there it is. There's not there. one spot of that restaurant that like doesn't have something. Yeah. So I definitely think it's great for families. There are TVs everywhere with all the games. So like if you're on vacation and there's an important sports game. Yeah. Maybe dad wants to watch the game. I think that he would love to come here. I, I was trying to think like I was trying to compare this to Disney sports bars. The only sports bar that we've been to at Disney is Rick's, which is in the Coronado oh, Springs yeah. Resort. Um, I do like Rick's a lot. I would say, I would put this on the same level as like Rick's. Yeah, I do feel yeah. like this was cheaper though. Definitely, Definitely. cheaper than Rick's. Definitely cheaper than on Disney. It was like 60 bucks and we got yeah. a lot of food. Everything that you saw was $60. Um, I would knock my burger down to like a six. And that is because I feel like as I got into it, the burger meat was not a super high quality burger meat. It did taste flame broiled if you like that flavor. Uh, but for me, it brought it down a bit. I have been told that the honky tonk burger 
probably would be more up my alley. I actually spoke to the manager uh, for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they were very nice. Yeah, it's very nice, very accommodating. And he's and the Honky Tonk Burger actually has like lettuce, tomato, tomato may mayonnaise, things like that on it. Um, so I, I'm interested in coming back, trying that, trying some other things. The best thing for me that I had were definitely those barrels. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> very good. Yeah, and the milkshake was very good too. So I think that what they do do, they do well, and I think it's a novelty restaurant with novelty food. In a you know sports bar setting, so the kids are happy. Come you want to watch hungry. the game? Yes, come, come hungry. hungry. Come very hungry. Um, but yeah, we had a great time. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out. Which is when Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Sometimes there's an extra one. Don't count the days. We we'll make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. Also, like little hints to like uh, Disney and some like independent properties. You have Popeye from Universal right Mater. there. Mater. Tomater. <laughs> Grumpy. Um, oh. Donald, Donald Duck. Okay, right, a little closer for him. Donald Duck. And this is right next to that big neon sign. Just so you guys know. Oh, Mickey. Oh. There's Mickey. In the oh, let's try. To, let's try to walk closer to him, so we can show Mick off. There he is. And you can go next door to the Wizard and get some really affordable Disney merchandise. Yes, and apparently they have tees for like what? Five ninety nine. And then there's a gift shop across the street, and then yeah. there's another one next to it, and another yeah. one. you're surrounded by gift by shops, gift. and there's a million mini golf places on the street. Yes, one ninety two has got a lot to do.